So at Zappos, a number of years ago, um, our employees uh, came, came together and put together what they thought were the Zappos core values. So we have 10 core values, um, things like be humble or things like create fun and a little weirdness, um, uh, embrace and drive change or do more with less. Like, for instance, I'm talking to you now on uh, a, a, about a year and a half old MacBook Air that's sitting on top of a Zappos box so that I'm, I'm leveled up, right? <laughs> um, we don't have fancy equipment. That's do more with less, right? Um, the but with the way we hire people is is you, know, you come in and do an interview at Zappos. Um, you'll have one interview with the hiring manager or the hiring team that's about your technical ability, um, and then the next the, the next and, and oftentimes the longer part and more detailed part of the interview is what we call a culture interview, which is typically a separate uh, person from our HR team who asks you questions like if you were a superhero, what would superhero would you be? Um, and things like that, that that sort of help to determine: Are you know, do you take yourself too seriously? Are you a fun person? Um, will you be someone that needs to have five assistants to be to, to be able to do a job, or can you actually just kind of drive it yourself? Uh, does change scare you? Um, and if you know, if if both teams, the hiring team and HR, don't agree uh, that um, that you're a culture fit, then you won't get the job. So we won't hire people, even if they're the most amazing um, candidate in the world from a technical standpoint. If we um, if we don't feel that they're a culture fit, we we won't hire them. And we've passed on a lot of really great candidates for really great jobs because of that. Um, so when we start there, and you translate that into the workspace. What ends up happening is people you're working with are people that you you want to go out and have a beer with. Uh, and in fact, we encourage managers to spend anywhere from twenty to twenty five percent of their time outside of the office with their their teams. So having a drink, going out for dinner, going to see a movie. Um, and so when we create those, that we hire that kind of you know, the people that sort of uh, can do those things, are comfortable doing that, and then encourage managers and teams to get together outside of the office. Uh, what the work that they end up doing together is not really work at all. It's just hanging out with friends, doing some fun stuff.